Hello guys, I would like to share a quick tip with you in Blender that made my life much easier. In many cases you might want to have different textures on the same mesh, where one texture would appear in some places and have another texture appear somewhere else according to a certain factor. Unlike Substance Painter, in Blender it's a little bit less straightforward but definitely doable, and using the method I'll describe you can achieve great results. But before we dive in, we need to understand something called Pack. Pack stands for Factor. It only takes the black and white information of a certain source. So for example, let's look at the magic texture. If you have the Wrangler node installed in your Blender, then you can click Ctrl, Shift, left mouse button, and we'll see the colors of the node. We can see that it has all sorts of colors. Now if we connect the FAC output instead of the color, we can see the same pattern but in black and white. And using these values, we'll control the mixing of the colors and textures with each other. The white areas will allow one of the textures to fully appear. The black areas will allow the appearance of the other texture. And gray areas will show a mixture of the two textures depending on how dark the gray area is. So let's start by simply mixing two colors. Here we have a red cube. We'll add some colors by drawing on it. So in order to be able to draw, let's go to the Texture Paint tab and create a new texture slot by clicking on the plus sign. Choose Base Color. If you need to change the resolution of the image, you can do so. But for our purpose, 1024 is good enough, so let's keep that. Click on the color and set the A value, which stands for Alpha, set it to 0. This will make our image transparent. Now click OK. If the cube suddenly disappears, that's because we're on the solid mode. Change the mode to Material Preview and you'll get the cube back. If we go back to the Shading tab, we'll see that a new Image Texture node has been added. Now we need to add a Mix RGB node in order to add another color to the red cube. Let's say we want to paint our red cube with black. In this case, let's change the second color to black and connect the Color Ramp node to the first color. Connect the Mix RGB node to the base color of the shader. Now the color changed into a slightly darker red. And finally, let's connect the color of the texture image to the FAC of the Mix RGB node. We can see that the color returned to full red, and that's because the FAC of the image is currently fully black, which allows only the first color to appear and blocks the second one. Let's go back to the Texture Paint tab. Make sure that the texture slot we created is selected. Scroll down to the colors section and make sure that the white color is selected. Now wherever we draw, the second color we chose in the Mix RGB node will appear. In our case, we chose black and that's what we see here. If instead of white we choose some shade of gray, we'll see that the black becomes weaker because it will be mixed with the first color, which is red. The darker the gray we choose, the, white, the weaker the black color becomes. Go back to the Shading tab again. If we decided to change the black color to something else, then all we need to do is to change the value of the second color in the Mix node. Another cool thing we can do is to use the same drawings we made to create Bump. All we need to do is to create a Bump node, connect the color output of the image to the height input of the node, and connect the node to the normal of the shader. We are getting extruding lines because we painted our image with white. If we want to make the cube look carved, all we need to do is to add an invert node between the image and the bump nodes. This will turn the color to black and the cube will become carved. So again, the way this works is that the fact value decides which color to show and where to show it. Wherever there is black, we'll see the first color and wherever there is white, we'll see the second one. If you have a basic programming background, then you can think of the FAC value as an if-else statement. If the color is black, then show the first color, else show the second color. And wherever there is a gray color, a mixture of both colors will appear. Now let's use what we learned to mix a texture with color. Here we have a wooden texture that I created once. It's connected to the base color and the normal of the shader. So all we need to do now is to connect the final output of the texture to the first color of the Mix RGB node and connect the node to the base color of the shader again and that's it. 
If our texture has a normal map and we would like to draw a bump with the color, then we connect the bump node of the texture to the normal input of the bump node of our image, and we get a mixture of both normal maps. By the way, as you can draw on the mesh, you can also erase what you draw. You do so by changing the blend mode of the drawing to erase alpha. Always make sure that the correct texture slot is highlighted, and now we can erase what we drew earlier. Just remember to return to the mix mode after you're done. The way we combine colors and textures, we can use the same technique to combine several textures. Here we have the same wooden texture we used earlier, and another golden texture. We we'll combine the two textures using the FAC of the image on which we drew, but instead of mixing them using a mix RGB node, we will use a mix shader node. We can see that a bit of both textures is visible now. So let's connect the image texture to the FAC and see what happens. And as before, we see that the second texture is showing only in the places where we drew. And if we connect the bump node of the image to the first shader and use the invert node, it will seem like the wood is carved and below it is a layer of gold. By the way, make sure that you save the image on which you drew. It will not be automatically saved when saving the Blender file. The fact can come from any source. It does not have to be from an image we drew on. You can create a texture and use its fact to decide how the colors or textures will be mixed. Let's create a simple noise texture and connect it to a color ramp. And make it fully black and white. Now connect the color output to the FAC of the Mix Shader node. And now we can see that the textures are mixed according to the FAC of the noise texture. We can control the black and white areas through the pointers of the color ramp node. Alright guys, that was it for this video. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try my best to reply as soon as possible.